Okay, Robert here on Elduet's farm. I was just uh, doing a little quick uh, harvesting of some nice juicy tomatoes that have been growing on our plants here. And I ran across some unwelcome guests. I've already picked a couple off, but uh, just to show you something we do for uh, pest control. Among all the ways, one of the most natural, the safest, and pretty straightforward is to just pick the bugs right off the plants if it's a certain type. Well one thing here that we have an issue with on these tomatoes is caterpillars. Now like I said I already picked a couple off but these are some big juicy guys and uh, they are really easy to get and see if you can get past their camouflage because they happen to be the exact same color as the plant. Okay switch views here so you can see the plant itself. I don't know if you could tell, but you're already looking at at least two or three caterpillars. Do you see them yet? Let me help you out here. We'll get a little closer. There's one right there. And these, they are harmless to people. They will hold on tight can see by their grip there but they don't bite or anything but they can kind of wiggle a little bit but they are delicious to the chickens so he is happy to take care of any pest control issue we have of those as long as he can get a hold of them and finds them But this one, of course, is a very true chicken. He is scared of most things, including other chickens. Now let's go back to the tomato here. Try not to make you dizzy as I move back. Do you see the other one? You see it yet? You see they do grip. He actually looks like he's trying to bite me, but doesn't seem to have any teeth big enough to cause a problem. I don't know if he sees that one yet. We'll come back to him after we get the other one that we were looking at up there. You see it too? Another caterpillar. That looks like quite a horn it's got on it, but it's very flexible. If you poke right on it, it still gives kind of, it's very soft. Here we are holding his butt up in the air. Having trouble focusing on that. And the mouth, see it almost looks like he's trying to bite me, but doesn't have the teeth to do it. And while we're over there, it looks like uh, Nugget there, as he's called. You may remember him from another one or two previous videos. He got that other one while we weren't looking. He is a happy chicken tonight. Yeah, gave him a little feed. And, oh, there is another one. I missed this one earlier. I just saw it. See it right there? He is there trying to hide. See, he's got his head perked. This one has its head perked up. And I actually... Let's see if, oops, the other ones, they eat these too normally. There's one earlier that I'd found, the two there. Surprisingly, they seem to have forgotten how good those things are. But, oh well, we'll leave them there. They'll probably get to them eventually. All right. We'll go with one more here. You see it? These things, if they are left on there, they will tear it up. Tear those tomato plants up. So we, I get them off every time I see them. He may need a little guidance on that one. He might have missed it. Oh. Well, let's grab another one while he's waiting. You can see how this is kind of torn that branch up right there.
He may have had enough of those for tonight. But I will make sure they don't get a chance to get back up here. Now we're coming at it from a little different angle from the other side. I pulled a couple more off and I still find some more here. They just keep showing up. They actually kind of tickle a little bit when I grab them. It feels like they're trying to bite me, but they can't. Saw one over from the other angle. There it is right there. Another one. See, taking another look, see if I see any more before we call it a night for caterpicking, caterpillar picking. Y'all have a good night, enjoy your protein. Okay, here we are out the next day after our first cleaning. And as, you can, as those who have ever done it before, you know pest control is a continuous process, unless you wanna just coat it all with chemicals, but uh, that has its own disadvantages. So now we're gonna continue on with the caterpillars here. I'm out here with my daughter, Lydia. I know Micah's behind the camera. And we found a couple more caterpillars. Not nearly as many as yesterday, but here's one. You can see we've already scared the pea out of it. If you listen very closely, you might see here when, I, when you disturb it, it actually makes little clicking sounds. I don't know if that's a vocal response or if it's the sound of it actually chewing on our tomato leaves, which is punishable by death among the insect community. But just listen carefully, you might hear some little clicks. Not the dog chain rattling, but there are some clicks here in between. All right. We'll go ahead and pull this one off here. As you can see, it's gripping kind of hard. Is it no. Oh, that was poop too. All right. <laughs> So here we are, the chickens. Oh, look at that, hen went right for it. I remember today how good those were yesterday when they finally got around to eating them. Oh, another one. One got a bite and the other, another one takes it. It's over there. See, they're going so fast, you almost lose where, which one has it. They are enjoying it now. All right, we'll let her finish that one. And we have one more that we found a few minutes ago, way up here. Come up closer and we'll see if we can pick up a few little clicks when we... Yeah, not sure if it's coming up on camera, but the, it is making some distinctive little clicking sounds. Ooh, threw up on me. <laughs> He's actually trying to bite me. Of course, the bite didn't hurt at all. I could just feel its efforts. I kind of felt like maybe if you're rubbing sandpaper against your skin very, very lightly. Okay, another support of the circle of life here on the farm. But as you can see, we got several off yesterday, but we haven't found any more besides those two today. So it is very effective. Pulling them off, it takes a little work, but it's completely safe. Oh, I am sorry, I stand corrected. Right here, a little one. We look right away from it. Or look right past. Whoop. Sorry. There's a smaller one. That's probably about half the size of the others. And 
Let's see how much they enjoy that. Ah, oh, those hens keep getting the, the caterpillars. Oh, and they're hiding behind the plastic that's about to go out to the trash. Yes, this plastic does is going out real soon. From a previous project that hasn't still has to be cleaned up. All right, another fun day of uh, feeding the chickens here and cleaning the tomatoes. Thanks for listening. You have a wonderful day.